Ekwa, a senior lecturer in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology at Kumase Technical University and currently the head of department. I must say my department has become a pace setter in the university and beyond. The department made up of mathematicians and statisticians has a capacity of 15 full-time lecturers comprising an associate professor, 10 senior lecturers, and four lecturers specialized in various aspects of statistics and mathematics, such as health statistics, financial statistics, data science, biostatistics, spatial statistics, environmental statistics, differential equations, optimization, among others. The department since its inception in 1988 has been running HND statistics program, but I'm happy to inform the whole world that the department currently runs 10 other new programs. We have programs running from the ordinary diploma level to the master's level. The programs include Diploma in Health Statistics, which is a two-year program run in the evening. Higher Diploma in Health Statistics, which is a regular three-year program. We have five bachelor programs consisting of data science, financial statistics, health statistics, environmental statistics, applied statistics top up with options in health, finance, and environment, which is a two-year top-up program run during the weekends. And we have three master's programs, which include MTech Health Statistics, MTech Financial Statistics, MTech Environmental Statistics run on weekends. My name is Kwesi Pukwazare, a senior lecturer at the Mathematics and Statistics Department, Kumasi Technical University. I am also the postgraduate coordinator for the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology. The Department of Mathematics and Statistics, Kumasi Technical University, is blessed with so many programs. The program range from diploma to master of technology programs. So we have diploma in health statistics, we have higher diploma in health statistics, we have higher national diploma in statistics. We have three different programs at the BTEC Bachelor of Technology level. They are Bachelor of Technology in Health Stars, Bachelor of Technology in Environmental Statistics and Bachelor of Technology in Financial Statistics. Bachelor of Technology in Data Science. In fact, it is our new baby and we cherish it a lot. Uh, we have our maiden students and we expect to have more next academic year. We also have three different programs at the MTech level. They are MTech Financial Statistics, MTech Health Statistics, and MTech Environmental Statistics. The two-year diploma health statistics program, the entry requirement for WASI and SSE holders, you just need two passes in either English, mathematics, integrated science or social studies, two of them, and two passes in elective subjects. We also have higher diploma in health statistics. It's higher than the two year. This one is three years. We require WASI and SSE students who have aggregate 24 or better for SSSCE and 36 or better for WASI. You know, we require passes in six subjects. Three of them are core, which includes English, mathematics, and integrated science, and three elective subjects, of which one of them should be elective mathematics, for you to read either BTEC financial stars, or BTEC environmental stars, or BTEC health statistics. We also run, as I said earlier, BTEC in data science, our new baby. And again, 
the we admit who, uh, SSC and WASI holders with uh, passes from A1 to C6. Again, overall aggregate of the six core courses should be 36 or better. Or the SSC should be A from D, and the overall aggregate should be 24 or better. What we require is that you should have English, Mathematics, and Integrated Science. And students from Agric, Science, and General Science, and even Business, if you have Elective Mathematics, you are all considered. Students who have also read General Arts with Elective Mathematics can also apply to come and read that fine program called Data Science. So the department runs three different Master of Technology programs, a minimum of two years. We have the Environmental Statistics, Health Statistics, and Financial Statistics. The requirement is simple. For all the three, you are supposed to have at least a BSc in Statistics, or BSc in Mathematics, or BSc in Health Statistics or Biostatistics, BSc in Computer Science. But if you want to branch to the Health Stars, then another added advantage would be having a background from the health sector and at least a one year post qualification experience. And if you want to read the finance, you are also supposed to have a background from the finance option, and then an added advantage will also be one year industrial experience. And for MTech environmental stars, you also need to have environmental background, maybe environmental science, or be tech in environmental uh, statistics. We also admit applicants with uh, first degree in BA, uh, a relevant degree in BA, in, in BTEC and, and BCOM, provided you have the mathematical and background. I am Dr. Michael Fosu Ofori, a senior lecturer with the Mathematics and Statistics Department of Kumasi Technical University. I'm to talk about the job prospect of uh, statistics. But before then, I will pose a question. Why is statistics important? The short answer is that statistics have powerful and far-reaching effects on every one of us. Yet, most people are unaware of their connection to statistics. From the foods we eat, to the medicines we take, the air we breathe, to the bridges we even cross, and how statistics improve all our lives. Statistical sciences have an impeccable impact on our lives and are a key to discoveries and innovation. In short, the importance of statistics stems from the fact that if you cannot measure, then you cannot manage. That is why we do population and housing census, the various surveys, the consumer price index, the producer price index, all to measure the indications of the macroeconomic statistics. For instance, we also need the data to formulate policies, we need the data for planning, we need the data to make predictions and forecasting. So how does statistics affect you and I? You may not be aware of it, but statistics affect nearly every aspect of our life, including the foods we eat as I've already talked about, the weather forecast, emergency preparedness, protecting your pet's health, assessing disease uh, risk, improving your healthcare, transportation system we all use, assessing credit uh, worthiness, picking your insurance policies, or pricing your insurance policies, ensuring national security, prosecuting criminals, ensuring the safety of medicine, monitoring climate change, among others. From the aforementioned, it stands to reason that the job prospect for statisticians or students who study statistics is huge. In fact, every facet of human life requires a statistician, from health, economy, through to government, to agri, education, engineering, finance, environment, the sciences, business, among other sectors. 
all require statisticians or students who have studied statistics. In Ghana, for instance, all ministries, departments, and agencies are mandated or required to set up a statistical coordinating, a monitoring and evaluation unit, and these units are supposed to be headed by statisticians. In a nutshell, statistics is the only course that the students, after graduating, can work in any sphere of life, as I have already indicated. Therefore, securing a job after studying statistics is guaranteed, since many institutions across the world now accept the fact that without proper data, there cannot be any meaningful planning that is required to propel the expected growth and development. Thank you so much.